my dear students, welcome to our science class. Before we start our new lesson, let's have a review on our previous lesson by having a short game. And scramble the letters inside the parentheses to identify some terms used to explain the concept of species and the system of classification. Number one, it is the science of naming, classifying, and organizing organisms. The answer is taxonomy. Second, the largest category into which organisms have been classified. The answer is domain. Number three, the basic unit of classification. The answer is species. And number four, the scientific name of man. The answer is Homo sapiens. Okay class, before we proceed to our new lesson, I'm going to show you some pictures to observe. What can you say about the pictures? Very good. That is an ecosystem. An ecosystem is a community or a group of living organisms that lives and interact with each other in a specific environment. Or, it is the interaction of the living and the non-living things. What about the next pictures? Picture A presents a tropical rainforest. And picture B is a rice field. What about the next pictures? What can you say about the pictures? Well, that's right. The picture shows a biodiversity. So what is biodiversity? A biodiversity is the variety of life on Earth in all its forms and all its interactions. Can you see any differences between the two pictures? Yes, there is. So what is the difference now between a high biodiversity from a low biodiversity? A high biodiversity is a habitat or ecosystem that has, that has a high number of different species. Low biodiversity is when there are few prominent species and a low number of other species within the habitat. So class, do you now have an idea on what is our lesson for today? Very good. So our new lesson for this fourth quarter, module 5, it's all about biodiversity and ecosystem, which focus on the high and low biodiversity, ecosystem, and its parts and components. For today's objectives, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to Number 1. Define biodiversity and explain its importance. Second, differentiate high biodiversity from low biodiversity. Third, describe ecosystem and its parts. And number four, identify the different types of ecosystem. And here is our guide questions. Number one, what is biodiversity? Second, what is the difference between a high and a low biodiversity? Third, what is an ecosystem? Fourth, what are the types and structure of the ecosystem? And number five, why is biodiversity important? Okay class, before we go further with our new lesson, let's have an activity entitled Activity 1, What is the importance of biodiversity to ecosystem? Direction, study the different pictures of different ecosystems, then after that, answer the following guide questions. Here is the guide questions for your activity. Number one, which ecosystem have high biodiversity, low biodiversity? Second, differentiate low from high biodiversity. Third, give advantages of high of over low biodiversity. Number four, what is the importance of biodiversity to ecosystems? Okay class, let's check if your answers are correct. Number 1. 
low biodiversity, banana plantation, and the fish pond. High biodiversity, the coral reef, and the mangrove swamp. Second, high biodiversity means more species lives in the area, and low biodiversity means less number of species lives in the area. Third, the advantages of high biodiversity to low biodiversity are number one, risk of damage is minimized. Second, more organisms or species grow. Third, less possibility of species extinction. For number four question, the answer is biodiversity increases ecosystem productivity where each species, no matter how small, all have an important role to play. What was your score? Did you get all the items correctly? If you do then, I will give you two thumbs up. Very good everyone. So now you know what is biodiversity and its importance to the ecosystem. Okay class, what about ecosystem? What is an ecosystem? Its parts, types, and components. To further understand the ecosystem, class, we are going to watch a video on what is ecosystem and the types of ecosystem, and after which we will be doing an activity. Ria was watering the plants in her garden. They look so fresh. But think of this. If we don't water the plants or don't provide enough nutrients or simply keep the plant away from sunlight, will it grow and look fresh? It's a definite no, right? Nature too functions that way. Let me explain. Here in our example, the plant is a living component and the factors like sun, water, soil are non-living. The plant cannot survive on its own. It is dependent on the non-living factors. In our surroundings, there are many living and non-living things and they coexist. They constantly interact with each other. This is what an ecosystem is. Ecosystem, a community of life forms and concurrence with non-living components interacting with each other. The term ecosystem was first coined by an English scientist A.G. Tansley in the year 1953. So you might be wondering, is everything in our surrounding a part of the ecosystem? Yes, it is. An ecosystem could be anything like a small pond to a large ocean. An ecosystem can be broadly classified into two types, terrestrial ecosystem and aquatic ecosystem. From the term terrestrial, we can easily say that it is associated with the land-based ecosystem and aquatic deals with the water, all water-based ecosystems. Let's now look at each of them and understand their further classifications. There are different types of different terrestrial ecosystem and are spread across different geological regions. They are forest, grasslands, deserts and tundra ecosystems. A forest consists of many trees, different plants, herbs and is a host of large varieties of animals, birds, reptiles, insects. Again, here the living and the non-living factors coexist. Coming to grasslands, why do you think it is called grassland? Yes, you guessed it right. Here the vegetation is mainly dominated by grass. Unlike forest, we don't find trees here. Different animals and insects inhabit this region. Desert Ecosystem A hot and dry region which receives scanty rainfall and is mostly barren lands. If you compare with forest, the variety of plants and animals are not found here. Only the plants like cactus, animals like camel are found in this region who can withstand the climate here. Talking about the tundra ecosystem, this region is, is devoid of wide varieties of trees and found in cold climatic regions. The regions are covered with ice most of the time. The plants and animals in this region are adapted to survive in extreme cold. Here we cover the different terrestrial ecosystems. Now let's explore the aquatic ecosystems now. We all know that there are two main types of water based on salt concentration. Even the ecosystem are classified based on the same. Can you recollect them? They are the marine ecosystem and freshwater ecosystem. 
The marine ecosystem contains higher salt concentration in the water and includes seas and oceans. They have a wide variety of organisms present in it. The freshwater ecosystem have lesser salt content in the water and includes rivers, ponds, lakes, streams. The variety of organisms is comparatively lesser. So with this, we end our session today. Here we saw what an ecosystem actually is and the classification of it. In the next session, we'll discuss structure of the ecosystem. So class, did you understand the video? If so, then you are now ready to answer activity 2. Where do I belong? For the direction, fill the table by classifying the words associated with types and structure of the ecosystem. Okay guys, we will now answer the question and activity by filling up the table with the correct answer. Let's check if your answers are correct. What's your score? Did you get all the answers? Well, if yes, then congratulations guys. So now, from the activities you have done, you know now what ecosystem is and biodiversity is, its, its types and structures. So let's answer the guide questions. What is biodiversity? A biodiversity is a variety of life on earth in all its form and all its interaction. Biodiversity is very broad. In fact, it is the most complex feature of our planet and it is the most vital. Without biodiversity, there is no future for humanity, says Professor David MacDonald at Oxford University. What about the importance of biodiversity? The importance of biodiversity is that it boosts ecosystem productivity where each species, no matter how small, have an important role to play. What about the ecosystem? An ecosystem is a geographic area where plants, animals, and other organisms, as, a, as well as weather and landscape, work together to sustain life. Ecosystems contain biotic factors or living parts, as well as abiotic factors or the non-living parts. Now what about the types of ecosystem? Now we have the different types of ecosystem. Number one, terrestrial ecosystem. Terrestrial ecosystems are exclusively land-based ecosystems. There are different types of terrestrial ecosystems distributed around various geological zones. They are as follows. One, forest ecosystem. A forest ecosystem consists of several plants, animals, and microorganisms that live in coordination with the biotic factors of the environment. Forests help in maintaining the temperature of the earth and are the major carbon sink. Grassland ecosystem. In a grassland ecosystem, the vegetation is dominated by grasses and herbs. Temperate grassland Savanna grasslands are some of the examples of grassland ecosystem. Tundra ecosystem. Tundra ecosystems are devoid of trees and are found in cold climates or where rainfall is scarce. These are covered with snow for most of the year. This ecosystem is in the Arctic or mountain tops is tundra type. Desert ecosystem. Deserts are found throughout the world. These are regions with very little rainfall. The days are hot and the nights are cold. The second type of ecosystem is the aquatic ecosystem. 
Aquatic ecosystems are ecosystems present in a body of water. This can be further divided into two types, namely freshwater ecosystem. The freshwater ecosystem is an aquatic ecosystem that includes lakes, ponds, rivers, streams, and wetlands. These have no salt content in contrast with the marine ecosystem. Marine ecosystem. The marine ecosystem includes seas and oceans. These have more substantial salt content and greater biodiversity in comparison to the freshwater ecosystem. Now is the quiz time. Let's answer the assessment on this module. For quiz A, the title is You are the echo of my system. Direction is Echo your learnings by completing the paragraph with the correct terms. It is a fact or a bluff. The direction is examine the given question carefully. Identify if the statement are presenting fact or not. We will now check your work. The following are the key answers for the letter A, then letter B. Once again, congratulations everyone. You will now be able to explain what biodiversity and ecosystem is. Again, thank you so much for listening.